Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Got another Love Island recap for you. Season 3, episode 22. We got some stuff to unpack. It wasn't that big of an issue, but we had some deep moments as well. But before we jump into this, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notifications. You like the video? Smash that like button. And feel free to drop a comment down in the comment section below and you guys have been dropping some great comments so i want to say up front i appreciate the engagement so without further ado let's jump into this so we got another episode of love island and tonight where we left off we had the whole fashion nova lingerie slumber party night and everybody looked gorgeous. To, I mean, I, like I said, I, I have fashion over. I've worn it. They have good clothing. So this endorsement was pretty good. However, when they decided to jump over in the bed, there were two new male Islanders, which was Andre. And also, we can't forget about the handsome KC. And some folks was really excited to see these faces, one of them being Olivia. And the other one being Trina. Because, I mean, at this point, Trina does, have, does not have any, zero connections in the villa at all. However, Olivia sees this as her opportunity to jump ship and have her head turned. But hey, another day in the life as an islander on Love Island, right? But, um... You know, pretty much, it seems as if, because remember, KC didn't mention who had his eye, but pretty much it seems that KC was interested in getting to know all of the women. Trina was so doggone excited. She was like, oh my God, I got to get my thoughts together. There's new men on the island. It's my chance. I'm finna go get me one right now. So she was over the moon, over the top about it. And I mean, I can understand that because she hasn't had a connection in this villa for, what, at least two weeks, right? So um, there was this whole thing with Truth or Dare, and some folks did some kissing. This was the opportunity for folks to get real close with somebody. And that first one is where we had... KC really get it in with the kiss with Ellie. And I mean, he had been waiting because Ellie had caught his eye. And so when he had to choose to kiss an islander of his choice, it was Ellie all the way. I actually, I'm interested in these two. And then there was the opportunity for Andre. Andre had the opportunity to... Um, get some whipped cream and you know olivia is over in the corner chomping off at the bit so here's the whipped cream and he was like okay you know what i'm gonna put it in your mouth first then i'm gonna put it in mine and we're gonna combine this and just whip it up together and yes they did and Corey, uh i'm wondering looking at his face what he was actually thinking in this moment when this person that he has a connection with is kissing another man now i'm like now Corey, don't get crazy because you was over there with bailey doing your thing when olivia was over there trying to figure this whole thing out so don't say nothing because that's what this is all about exploration but I can see if he feels some kind of way about that. So Olivia said uh, one of her choices was to have two islanders kiss a person of their choice. She thought by telling Corey to kiss somebody, he was going to kiss her. Nope, he kissed Bailey. And Shannon was like, boys are so stupid. He took that opportunity and kissed another girl when Olivia thought it was going to be her. Well, that's what you get for having expectations. You don't know what a person is going to do. So then um, we had this whole kiss with Bailey because it was also her turn and she chose to choose Jeremy. And I'm like, I didn't expect that one because she has an interest in Charlie. Then they had this where Cash had to pick three Islanders to do a three-way kiss as if they were going to be in a menage a trois. And, okay, well, there you go. And then Trina was like, my turn, my turn. 
So he just she decided to take it upon herself to jump on top of KC and really get it in with a kiss and kiss him like she meant it. Yes, she did. Now, the interesting thing is what he said in his confessional afterward, which was like, yeah, she can kiss pretty good. Yeah, it was all right. And I'm like, okay, well, we know that didn't spark anything too big. So then uh, they got a text to go over to the, the big bed and have the biggest pillow fight ever. And the last one remaining or have the most, I guess, messiest mess is the winner of a Fashion Nova special prize. And, um, of course, the winner was Cash, and she got all these cute clothes. There was some lingerie that she chose to keep for herself, but she did pass, you know, the other Islanders out some of the stuff that was in the bag. So then we have these two guys. They're having a conversation about who they're connecting with. And, again, KC was like, I'm going to try to get through all the women and see I have a connection with, okay? But he said on the top of his list was Ellie. And then um, Alana was also there in that list as well, and Trina. Now, on the flip side, um, when Andre, I mean, when KC was done with his choices, we hear that Andre is definitely having Olivia as his number one choice, and he really wants to explore that. I think he also said um, Alana as well, and so... Mm, I don't know, but he's really focused on Olivia, and Trina is just over the moon, and I'm like, I don't know, girl. He he didn't sound too thrilled about that kiss that, um, you know, of course, she gave him, so who knows? We'll see. We still got another, what, 11 days or less, and then it was so funny how they said that they the guys look like strippers in the Fashion Nova menswear, and then we see will doing a little kind of i guess a strip tease dance for kira they've been so playful lately i thought that was kind of cute but you know i know a lot of folks is thinking it's fake and it's not serious we'll definitely find out once they leave the island and then what's going on with cash and charlie i mean i guess they still friendly with each other did they reconcile are they talking again i have no idea because now they hugged up all over again and then, of course, Shannon and uh, Josh is getting a little kissy, kissy face in. However, the next morning, they were missing. And this is where we see both uh, Shannon and Josh come in to tell the Islanders that Josh had lost his sister. She passed away last night. And I mean, oh, my God, I, I can't believe it. And I'm assuming that maybe she might be right around his age. And he'll probably talk about it outside um, of the villa. Because I know after the island is doing a lot of interviews. But um, it's so unfortunate. Condolences to him and his family. That any death is a tragedy. And, you know, we'll probably see more about that. He'll talk about it later on the outside. But they wished him well. And I like this scene where... Will apologizes to Shannon and, you know, I'm sorry for everything we've been through in the villa. And then she even tells him to just please take care of Kira. So, I mean, it was a very sad moment. It kind of brought me to tears a little bit because I hate to see stuff like this happen. And yeah, I mean, it's an emergency. And Shannon chose to go with him which is great. It's, I mean, I like seeing the fact that she's supporting him during this time. So again, condolences to Josh and his family. So then the guys get a text and then we see that um, KC get a text about going on a date and he chooses Ellie. And I mean, Trina's face went from big smile to like, oh, okay. And then, of course, Andre get a text as well to choose a, a, you know, a female Islander to go on a date with. And he, of course, chooses Olivia. And I know he looking some kind of way. Corey, don't again, don't say nothing. You were spending two and three hours talking to Bailey. So, hey, it's her turn. She has a connection. She got to figure that out. But, I mean... It is what it is. So she's excited about going on the date 
with um Andre and my thing is this girl been in his since day one I hope that maybe this is the connection but we do see KC picks up Ellie for those two to go on their date and Ellie seems pretty excited because she really wasn't getting no action in the villa so it's good to see that you know she have some form of a connection or somebody's interested in her and this is where we see i like their dates compared to what's going on on the bachelor oh i don't know if you guys watch it but at least their outside dates look like it's a lot of fun um casey and ellie is um going on a bike ride and then they finally get to have some sit down conversation this is where we see um casey tells heard that he was born in germany but he was raised in japan and she said that she can speak three words i think it's i am crazy in japanese and the i'm looking like uh okay i mean i'm glad you being transparent this early on because the look on his face was like what but i didn't think it threw him that much but if you say, I am crazy, and you can speak it in another language, I can guarantee you probably the person on the other end is going to kind of give you the side eye on all of that. But Trina, you know, she was back at the villa, and she was talking about her. She's interested in trying to get to know KC and exploring that connection. And she said that Corey had a connection with her. And Kira was like, wait a minute, what? He, she was like, no, 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 it's not Corey. I mean, KC. I'm like, okay, girl. Because I had, I looked, I'm like, wait, we're not doing this again. Corey all of a sudden had a connection with Olivia, and now Trina has a connection with Corey. Okay, good. I'm glad that was a, a ear typo, right? So then on the date with Andre and Olivia, they played soccer. Because I think she's a soccer player. Both of them are soccer players. And so they pretty much wanted to do a little game where it was like a little truth to dare. And um, I forgot what that truth was. I wanted to go back. Guys, drop that in the comments below if you remember. But I do remember what the dare was. And the dare was, and she tricked him. They both kind of tricked each other when they got a point each, which was to distract them or distract the other person. So that they can actually get the goal. But in this case with the dare. Um, and of course he won that one. He said I dare you to kiss me. And she had this big old glowing smile on her face. I know she was definitely all for that. And he was excited that he won. Because he knew what he was getting. He was going to get the, the, the luscious. And so she's like, oh, I lost that one. But did you really, Olivia? Because this man is fin to kiss a you. So I don't think you, uh, I don't think you got an L on that one. Maybe, unless he's a bad kisser. And then he was so sweet. He told her, you know, come with me. I got more surprises for you. Back in the villa, we see a conversation between Bailey and Corey. And, you know, they're talking about each other's type. And I'm like, are we still at this point? At first, I was feeling those two. But then I'm like, eh, it's kind of lukewarm. In the meantime, Jeremy is checking out the whole situation. And Jeremy decides to sashay himself right on over there. Get their attention. It's like, hey, 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 it's my turn. It's my turn. And he was like, can we, can I have a chat with you and she was like who me uh yeah you yeah and she was like oh my goodness and the crazy thing about this is Corey is like why we always have to have the same connection with the same person because the last person was miss florita and now it's miss uh bailey so, you know, Corey didn't give no grief. He was like, you know, pretty much I'll talk to you later. But even this conversation, I really don't think that Bailey is truly deeply interested in either guy. I mean, she, when she saw the new guys come in, she was kind of excited about that. So I'm wondering where her head is while these two guys are trying to vie for her attention. 
Charlie is hilarious. Charlie was like, you should have sent that dude home if you ain't want no competition. But see, you you the one kept him here and then backfired on you. I was like, Charlie is hilarious. Now, it's so funny, but it's partially true. Y'all kept that dude on there. I don't know if it was them or the network, because you know the rumors. But either way, Jeremy is still here and he's competing for Miss Bailey against Corey. And Corey need to figure this out. I've heard in the past few weeks that a lot of folks think that Corey is just a little bit too passive. And, I mean, I think it's all about him being respectful, you know, and that's how you should be, you know. In the meantime, we saw Cash had a toothache, so she's been hiding away in the hideaway. Hopefully, she feels better because I know what a toothache is. Like, I had one like three months ago, and you want to punch a hole in the wall. But in the meantime, we have a conversation with Alana and also Charlie and Trina is over in the corner being a busybody. I'm like, girl, that's why you ain't got no connection because you're fooling around in everybody else's business. Anyway, this is where they have a conversation where Alana is trying to figure out what Charlie is, which again contradicts the statement that Cash made about him saying, she told me that you had a connection with her. Alana is like, what are we doing? So, I don't know. It's all confusing. You know, I'm, if you want to see what I'm talking about, go back to my video from yesterday in episode 21. But he really feels that his connection is better with Alana over the way him and Cash started out. And that, you know, he don't want to be disrespectful. He want to talk to Cash to see where she's at. And I'm like, wait a minute. I thought y'all ended it yesterday, but y'all were all hugged up and dancing on top of each other. So I don't know what they're doing. They're playing cat and mouse, hot and cold. I don't know. In the meantime, Charlie walks through the beauty room. And this is where Trina is trying to pretty much say, you know, by the way he's moving, he's seeming like he's just not a nice person. Please don't demonize that man. Everybody in there are, is trying to make a connection with multiple people. I mean, Corey got two sides of a triangle that he's in right now. So if Charlie is trying to explore and do what's best for him, that's what this is about. Don't make him look like, oh, he's just a bad person. Anyway, so we're back over to the date with Casey and um, Casey and uh, Ellie. And they're having a great time. And then the date with both uh, Andre and, uh, of course, Olivia saying that he is her type. And that Corey and her are single and friends and are open to explore their own options. Okay. And I find it interesting. Check this out. So, what were you freaking out about yesterday if you guys are just having your options and you're open to exploring new opportunities and you're just friends and we're single, but she have a little bit of a connection? I'm like, Olivia, really? Um, yeah, okay. So, they're headed back to the villa and, of course, everybody is excited, the girls and guys to find out what happened on their date. Ellie was, um, you know, saying to the girls that she really had a good time with KC and they had a connection. There was no kiss, according to KC, which, okay, that's fine. I, maybe he want to just kind of talk and get a idea of, you know, who he want to maybe be able to do that with, even though they did it in the challenge. So it's not like he haven't kissed her. But then let's talk about Olivia. Olivia is telling the girls that this man is her prince charming. And this is the when she when he kissed her, that was the only time that she's ever had a spark since she's been in the villa. Okay, Corey, Giovanni, I guess what? A blip on the map. What was that? I don't know. And like I say, 
Obviously, she was just passing time. She wasn't being real with those dudes. She had zero spark, but she was excited about these two other guys. But now with this guy, oh my God, I found my Prince Charming. I got a spark. He is it. He might be my person. He's the one. And I'm like, yeah, we'll see about that. Again, we got under 11 days, so I can guarantee you there's going to be some shakeups. But I do see that Andre is telling um, KC that Corey is probably going to be in trouble because Andre is about to go all in and all after when it comes to pursuing um, Olivia. Now, we do see Corey comes over and pulls Olivia away for a chat. And that conversation was pretty interesting. Of course, we see the two guys checking it out to see what's going on. Olivia just come out and say, yes, we had a good time. And I just want to be honest with you. He kissed me. And she was waiting for a reaction because she just stopped. And it's like, stop trying to get a reaction. Just let them know what you're going to do. Corey was like, um, well, I mean... I, you know, it's not something I really want to hear, but hey, you got to explore your connection. And I honestly think Olivia was disappointed in that response. She was hoping that this man was going to feel some kind of way and it didn't happen. And I think the only reason that that is, is because Bailey is here. And she even mentioned that she was like, you know what? I know you have, you know, the connection with Bailey that you're trying to explore and you know, both of them, you can tell in her eyes that she's disappointed because he didn't move the way that she expected him to. Now, did I think that it impacted Corey some kind of way? Of course, but hes I don't think he's letting on maybe as much as it's hurting him. Or if it's not really, it's because he already have a spark and interest in Bailey. I mean, when you sit down all day, every day for the last couple of days doing two and three and four hour conversations, there is a connection there. So then Kira has a conversation with Olivia and Olivia is telling how much I like this person, but I'm so confused. I got Corey over here and Kira is like, look, let me tell you, you need to go ahead and explore that because you don't want no what ifs and this is about you in the end and your um, connection on who is going to be best for you. And honestly, at the end of the day, that's what it comes down to. I understand people get upset. You with this person, I thought you were interested in me. But unless you're in a relationship like Josh and Shannon, all you are is an exploration of a connection. So, and I, I'm not dismissing feelings because folks have feelings. I mean, we're emotional beings, men and women. But at the same time, you only have six weeks, and I mean six, to go through these people and sort and sift to find out who you're interested in, who you're connected with, who you're going to make it to the end with without being eliminated, and who you can actually maybe take something to the next level with outside of this island. So you're going to have to move around. I know some people get feelings involved unless you know that you're going in a solid direction. You got some exploration to do, or you're going to either leave there empty handed, or you're going to be sitting around like some folks with nobody just floating through time. So I hope you enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.